Now let's see this example. Construct PDA for the land base L is equal to W C W power R such that W belongs to A plus B whole star. We know that PDA is represented by seven tuples. M is equal to Q comma sigma comma tau comma delta comma Q naught comma Z naught comma F. So first let us find out delta. So from the delta we can find out the remaining all the tuples. First let us see what is the land base here. L is equal to, uh, let W is equal to A, B, A. W means string, combinations of A and B. Uh, here C stands for the center marker. W power R means reverse of the W. So reverse of A, B, A is A, B, A only. Let the string is A, B, A, B. Next C, so center marker. Reverse of A, B, A, B means B, A, B, A. So likewise we can have n number of strings, n number of strings. Uh, so let us uh, find out the transition functions. Uh, so let initially the stack is empty. Let initially stack is empty. So the starting symbol of the stack is Z0. So next delta of, uh, let initially we are at Q0 state. Uh, let the starting symbol is uh, A comma initially stack is empty so top of the stack is z0 here the logic is very very simple we have to push all the symbols onto the stack until we will get c until we will get c so until we will get c then we have to push all these symbols okay while reading c if the symbol is c then don't perform any operation if the symbol is c then keep the stack as it is and after that, for the remaining symbols after the C, uh, if the symbol is A and the top of the stack is A, then perform the pop operation. So likewise, if the symbol is B and top of the stack is B, then perform the pop operation. So we have to do the matching. Okay. So then what we have to do? Uh, here we have A. So uh, so we need to push that symbol onto the stack. So Q0, comma A, Z0. So we need to push this A onto the stack, okay? Uh, so we may have a string like this also, B A. Let the string is B A. Central marker is C. So reverse of B A is A B. So here, if the input symbol is B, as well as if the stack is empty, if the input symbol is B, as well as if the stack is empty, then what we have to do? We have to push that symbol onto the stack. So Q naught comma B Z naught. Q0 comma BZ0. So we have to push the symbol onto the stack. So next thing we have four scenarios. The first scenario is Q0 comma A. Next scenario is Q0 comma AB. So next scenario is Q0 comma BA. So next scenario is Q0 comma BB. So it specifies that input symbol is A, top of the stack is A. Then what we have to do? So push this A onto the stack. So Q0 comma A. So it specifies that input symbol is A on top of the stack is B. Then push this A onto the stack. So Q0 comma A. So input symbol is B, top of the stack is A. So push B. So B A. Input symbol is B, top of the stack is B. So push the symbol. So let us take this example. So initially we have A. Next symbol is B. On top of the stack is A. So B A. So what we have to do? We have to push the symbol onto the stack. So next symbol is A. On top of the stack is B. So A B. A B. So push A onto the top of the stack. So push A onto the top of the stack. So next symbol is C. So Q naught comma. C comma. Here while reading C. The top of the stack may contain either A or B. Either A or B. Top of the stack may contain either A or B. By reading the symbol C, center marker, top of the stack may contain either A or B. Then we have to change the state. So change the state from Q0 to Q1. Change the state from Q0 to Q1. And keep the stack as it is. So keep the symbol as it is. So if the, if the top of the stack is A, so keep this one as it is. If top of the stack is B, then keep the symbol as it is. Okay. Uh, next Next, so delta of, so now the current state is Q1, Q1 
वन कामा क्यू वन कामा इफ द सिंबल इज ये एंड टॉप ऑफ द स्टैक इज ये इफ द इनपुट सिंबल इज ये एंड टॉप ऑफ द स्टैक इज ये देन व्हाट वी हैव टू डू हियर द इनपुट सिंबल इज ये टॉप ऑफ द स्टैक इज ये देन सिंपली वी हैव टू परफॉर्म द पॉप ऑपरेशन सो क्यू वन कामा एफ सी राम सो लाइक वेस इफ द सिंबल इज इफ द इनपुट सिंबल इज बी एंड टॉप ऑफ द स्टैक इज बी then simply perform the pop operation q1 comma epsilon so epsilon specifies that we are performing the pop operation so let us see this symbol b top of the stack is b so perform the pop operation so this b will be pop next input symbol is a top of the stack is a so simply perform the pop operation next q1 comma we know that the string ends with epsilon epsilon so q1 comma epsilon comma here the stack contains z now Z dot. Then we then we have to change the state from Q one to Q two. Why? Because the entire input string is processed. So here Q two specifies that we are reaching to the final state. Q two means final state. Comma epsilon. So epsilon means the stack is empty. Let us perform the power operation. So in this way we can write the transition functions. Now according to the transition functions, let us construct transition diagram. So Q naught is the initial state. Next Q one. Next to Q two is the final state. So on Q naught we have uh, uh, how many transitions? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. So next totally we have uh, uh, totally we have uh, uh, eight transitions. So Q naught, Q naught. So Y, if the input symbol is Y, Z naught. Then replace with A Z naught. Replace with A Z naught. Next second one B Z not replace with B Z not. Next A A. So let us write here A A replace with A A. Next A B replace with A B. Next B if the input symbol is B top of the stack is A. Then we have to push B A. Next B B B B. If the input symbol is B, top of the stack is B, then B B replace with B B. Uh, let us write here for space constraints. I am writing here B B B B. Okay. So up to this is over. So next we have center marker, center marker. So C if the input symbol is C and top of the stack is A, then keep uh, that A as it is. Or if the input symbol is C, here we are changing from Q naught to Q one. If the top of the stack is B, then keep the stack as it is. So Q naught transitions are over. Next Q one A A Q one. These two are self loop only, self transitions only. Q one. If the input symbol is A, top of the stack is A, then replace with A epsilon. Next B B replace with epsilon. Next Q one epsilon input symbol is epsilon. Z naught top of the stack is Z naught, then replace with epsilon. Okay. So this is the transition diagram uh, for this problem. Now let us write the tuples. So P D N M is equal to so Q. So totally we have three states are there. Q dot comma Q one comma Q two. Next the uh, input string mainly contains A and B. Next now uh, tau 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 here tau contains A or B. A or B. But we don't place C on the stack. Uh, next one is delta. Transition functions are already written. Q naught is the initial state. Z naught is the starting symbol of the stack, and the final state is Q. So this is the this is the PDA for this problem. So like this we can solve the problem.